ago, over the past 20 years, there's been a, an exponential rise in admissions in koalas. When I first arrived, it was an exciting day when we saw a koala come into the hospital and we probably only saw two to three koalas every year. To now be admitting almost 500 koalas annually and to see the level of disease that we're seeing amongst our, our wild koalas, it really is heartbreaking to, to know the, the level of problems that we're suffering our local koala population. Out in the field we, we sometimes see koalas that have red and flamed eyes or, or a wet bottom which are both signs of, of chlamydia. The conjunctivitis um, causes that in inflammation in their eyes and it's become incredibly red and flamed and painful and very advanced stages can actually render them blind. The other symptom that we see most often is cystitis and that presents as a wet bottom where the koala's bladder wall has thickened so much that they're unable to control it anymore and they constantly leak urine. And left untreated that can actually work its way up into the reproductive system and prevent them from breeding. Look, the admissions into the wildlife hospital, 60% of the 500 koalas we admit every year come in because they're sick from chlamydial disease and many of the other koalas that come in have subclinical chlamydial disease, so they, they're getting sick. Um, it, it's, it's a massive problem amongst our local koalas, and if we don't find a solution to manage chlamydial disease, we're going to lose many of our koalas. The numbers can't keep going on that way. They, we have to do something to turn it around. I've been a vet nurse with wildlife for over 10 years now, and I've seen hundreds and hundreds of koalas admitted to the hospital suffering the chlamydial disease. It gives me a really good footing for being out in the field, uh, looking at koalas and observing them and, and picking up very early signs of disease. Yeah, we're working on a koala chlamydia vaccine trial, which involves us finding five young healthy koalas from the wild vaccinating them against chlamydia and then tracking them for three years and with periodic catching to test their antibody levels to ensure the vaccine is lasting in their system. Uh, up to 80% of our koalas on the Gold Coast are infected and without intervention they could go extinct locally uh, within the next 10 to 20 years. Look, treating chlamydial disease isn't easy. Um, a long course of antibiotics can save lives but it's far more critical we get into the space of actually preventing chlamydial disease. Vaccinations have been developed that um, give us a lot of hope that if we can roll this vaccine out amongst the wild koala population, we can start to prevent them getting sick in the first place. We spend a lot of time out in the field looking for koalas and we know where koalas live based on the records we've received at the hospital. We spend a lot of time out there looking and checking and rechecking the same areas until the koalas show up and then we, we aim to catch them and bring them in uh, for, for their vaccine. So we use uh, multiple devices to track koalas. They have a GPS device on their collar uh, which reports back to our phone to give us a, a rough location of where the koala is. Um, we then go out in the field and use VHF antennas, which takes us to the very tree the koala's in, and then it's a case of finding the koala in the tree with binoculars. The number one reason for admission is chlamydia, and that's what we can do as a hospital. We can provide this vaccine to save koalas. Certainly vaccination of koalas do doesn't come cheap. Um, this isn't a commercially available vaccine, so we have to work with universities and researchers as part of a large project to be able to vaccinate koalas. Um, and getting out there and actually capturing koalas and tracking koalas is very, very labour intensive and does come at a significant cost. Look, really to be capturing a koala from the wild, vaccinating, releasing that koala back to the wild, tracking it and recapturing it to assess how well the vaccine's working. You know, we're looking at around about $25,000 a year per koala. And that's important that we get into this space where we're testing the vaccine, assessing the vaccine, following it up in this way so that we know how effective it is. Costs will come down in, in years to come because we can have confidence that the vaccine is working and it will just be a case of vaccinating and then releasing. But in these early stages, we have to know how effective the vaccine is. We have to track the koalas post-vaccination and we have to recapture them to assess whether it's working. 
Look, for us to really be able to achieve what we need to achieve with the current vaccine rollout, we're really looking at a million dollar price tag. And the chlamydia vaccine that is available has the potential to save countless koala lives. All we need is the help of you. We need donations, we need the dollars to be able to roll this vaccine out and turn things around for our koalas.